Bet you didn't know that fewer than half of Major League ballparks actually have a live organist these days. What was once a staple of baseball has been phased out mostly, but not in the Bronx. CBS 2's Steve Overmeyer spoke with a man whose passion takes him to two very different houses of worship. At Yankee Stadium, echoes of legends past linger in the air. And there's a maestro whose music honors the history of the game. I love baseball, and I love being in the seat to do this part of it. For the past 60 years, the organ has been a constant presence at Yankee Stadium. Ed Olstrom now sits at the seat once occupied by the legendary Eddie Layton. This here is a childhood dream for me from the time my dad first took me to Yankee and Mets games when I was about seven years old. I was like, wow, organ, baseball, I want to do that. Before the roar of the crowd, his Sunday prelude is in the tranquil halls of a Montclair, New Jersey church. Here, Ed is not the Yankees organist, but a humble servant of music. I love diversity. I love doing all kinds of different things. And it doesn't get too much different than going from that one to this one. You play in the morning at a church, and then you play in the afternoon at the Cathedral of Baseball. Two cathedrals in one day. <laughs> What's wrong with that? He plays to the divine but his destiny was shaped at a very young age. My dad had an organ and an accordion. He said, which do you want to play? And I went for the organ. You could have been the polka king. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll rue the day. <laughs> Even though piano and organ both have keyboards on them, they're radically different types of instruments. Organs have multiple manuals, two, sometimes three or four, and there's pedals. So you're playing bass notes with your feet and you're playing different sounds with both hands. Which is why with a closer look, you'll see no shoes, just Yankee socks. I'm trying to play notes and the shoes just get in the way. That gotta work out, it definitely gotta work out. Yeah, playing organ is a workout because you got all four limbs going and uh, it's demanding. It has a way of enhancing the experience in either location. He's more than just a keeper of tradition. He's a storyteller with keys. There's a Yankee pitcher gets a strikeout, I'm on it with... While the drama certainly is on the field, his music serves as a backdrop. The crack of the bat is amen. The cheering crowd, a hallelujah. Eddie Layton used to say, I cheer with my music. And I like to think that I'm doing the same thing here. I'm leading cheers through the music and the more opportunities I get to do that, the better shape we're all in here as Yankee fans. In both places, his music has a common purpose, to unite, to inspire, whether he's playing to the heavens or home fans.